A coffee shop chain working to change the world and how it views people with disabilities. Detroit Now's Ray Strickland shows us how Biddy and Bose is making coffee and a difference. Biddy and Bose is more than just a coffee shop. It's serving up lessons about life, showing us all that anyone can do anything. Welcome to Biddy and Bose. You are the eight of heart. Something special is brewing in Ann Arbor. The opening of a coffee shop that is whipping up more than just your cup of joe. How about a cup of joy? Thank you very much. This is a magical place. No judgment, no fear, and no limits. Something these employees may have never felt before. This is about compassion, commitment, and creativity. Ben Wright and his wife founded Biddy and Bo's Coffee in 2016, a place where most of their employees are people with disabilities. It's named after their two kids, Biddy and Bo, who were born with Down syndrome. We, we saw that once they were going to graduate high school, at some point in the future, that there was really nothing for them to do. The coffee shop has since grown to 14 locations in more than a dozen states. And on Saturday, they'll hold their grand opening of their newest location in Ann Arbor. The coffee shop creates that bridge where people with and without disabilities can experience each other in a very familiar environment, a coffee shop, right? I love that they hire people with disabilities. Sean Handler knows how it feels to be treated differently, but at Biddy and Bo's, she says she's like everyone else. Because I'm so used to people making comments about my voice and saying, like, are you sick? Are you, are you, are you okay? But nobody says that here. It's like nobody cares. They, they give us a place to call home, really. And that's the goal for Wright, giving people like Handler a place where they are treated like the special people they truly are. There are so many people in the world who need a place like Biddy and Bo's Coffee where they can feel valued and accepted and included. In Ann Arbor, Ray Strickland, Detroit Now News.